how's it going? Uh, I've been having issues with my Switch for the better part of like seven months. Um, I couldn't figure out what the heck it was. And uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably having the same issue. I hope this video helps you. Um, I couldn't tell if it was a Wi-Fi issue. I couldn't tell if it was a Nintendo issue. I couldn't tell if it was something with the Switch internals that just went bad. No, it turns out this is a Netgear problem. I have a Netgear router and an Aris modem. It might not be the same for you, but I'm assuming this just has to do with the Netgear router. Um, I could not find this issue anywhere. I could not find a good solution to it, but finally I stumbled upon something that helped, and I figured I'm going to help some other people too who are probably having the same issue. So, what you got to do first is you got to go to routerlogin.net. Now, you might not know your router details um, if it asks you and you can't log in. I think all you have to do is put the router um, serial number in it and then it'll give you the login information you can get right in. So um, the serial number should be on the back or somewhere on the router itself, usually. So when you get on this stuff, all you got to do is go into advanced you go into security, you go into access control, as soon as this pops up, oop, and it did, and I clicked it again as soon as it <laughs> finally came. Alright, so, what you want to do is you want to turn off access control. You want to unclick this, hit apply, wait for it to go. Um, also what might help is you might, I mean, this is a ton of stuff, right? What you might find is, um, stuff in your blocked devices and your switch might be on there for whatever reason. I don't know why sometimes it just happens. Just delete the few things that are on here. Cause you probably didn't do it yourself. I know I didn't, I found something there that might've also solved my problem. So really all it takes is turning off access control so unclicking this bad boy right here and then hitting apply and it should get your switch up and running again all right hope this helps